So the emperor had come out. Someone wants to take control of the situation. Someone's dead serious about you. Okay, you could be dealing with someone who's a control freak, stubborn as fuck, not budging, not taking action towards you, but this is someone you're around you who wants to marry you. The magician, yeah, you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with an Aries. Someone's manifesting marriage with you. Someone's manifesting something, uh, a new opportunity with you, wanting to manifest a new beginning with you. Okay, whoever this person is, they're watching you, but they're doing all this in silence. This is someone who has everything that they need, right? That's a magician, right? They, they, this person, okay. Now you're definitely dealing with someone here who's always wanting to be single is what I'm getting okay this person could be someone who didn't want commitment with you again I could I mean this person wasn't taking control of the situation you know they were just like wanting there was a lack of structure you know and they always wanted the upper hand here they knew what they wanted they would keep sabotaging the connection but this person after you you guys have definitely gone through a breakup or you're already in separation or breakup right now okay but now this person is silently and quietly manifesting you this is someone who's always been acting single or wanting to be single, okay? They feel they can just waltz back into your life whenever they want, but they know that they can have you back whenever they want. That's the kind of energy the magician is. That is a very manipulative energy, but I like it because it's paired up with the emperor here, okay? But so this time, it's like they're manifesting marriage with you is what I'm getting, okay? Someone who wants wanted to come out, so yeah, this could be someone who you blocked out. Or this could be someone who's very defensive towards you in the past. Tell me, how do you see yourself in this connection? Scorpio, how do you see yourself in this connection? Ten of Cups. I think you're very happy and very content where you are right now. Okay? I think you could be involved in another... Um, <coughs> sorry, I got interrupted twice in your reading. So yeah, there are a lot of delays. In your connection, if things have been on hold, it's just wait for divine time, okay? But with the Ten of Cups here and your energy here, you could be wanting a happily ever after with this person, okay? But I feel somehow, somehow you're very content in another family dynamic right now, or you're just just emotionally very happy where you are right now. Um, you could be even wanting this as your happily ever after with this person. Uh, give me more about uh, how Scorpio sees themselves in this connection. Nine of Swords, okay. Scorpio, now I feel this is your person here. This is someone who wants this with you, but they are stressing the shit out of themselves, okay? This person sees you as their end-all be-all, but this person is not sure if you'll take them back with the Nine of Swords here. See how this person watches you? Look at the Emperor. Look at how they watch. I don't know if you can see it. There's a glare here. I mean, they're watching you from a distance. It's like... I'm going to wait for the right time and I'm going to come towards you and I promise it's like that, you know. But this person's very stressed, whoever's on this side here. If this is you, stop it, then you're stressed, okay? But you're stressed about wanting this new beginning with this person. See, the seven of wands just had to come out. Someone's very defensive, very defensive, okay? Their guards are up. This is someone who, again, I'm getting someone who keeps sabotaging the connection or has a habit of sabotaging or pushing away what's good for them, okay? Only because they've probably, there's been this, um, it's like this programming, inner programming since childhood that you need to defend yourself all the time, okay? Don't be vulnerable, don't let people take advantage of you. So what happens in that dynamic is that people tend to push you away. So this person has started to push you away or has pushed you away in the past year and their stance is still up, okay? They're not letting their guards down because they feel like, they feel the need to be ready, you know, with that... I don't know what argument or whatever it is. Maybe how does this person see themselves in this connection out here? This person could have blocked you, but they're still watching you. Maybe how does this person see themselves in this connection with Scorpio? Ten of Wands, yeah. See, now because this person constantly keeps blocking you, right? This person probably, you know, just pushes you away. It's like back off, leave me alone kind of energy. It's stressing the shit out of the other person out here, okay? Now, this person stressed mentally because of whatever they did in the past. This person on, the person on this side is more stressed, okay? Now, the Ten of Wands is the energy of uh, someone being very overburdened out here, okay? But I feel the person out here is almost ready to end a stressful or burdensome cycle here, okay? Or something that was very difficult to deal with. Um, 
the person on this side could have had a lot of responsibilities but i'm feeling this person out here had 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 to do everything do it all in this relationship they felt very alone very exhausted you know out here it was an uphill battle this connection here and they're very close to ending this cycle here okay they're just wanting to lay off that burden just drop the load tell me more about how this person sees themselves yeah with the three of pentacles here this person is probably very focused on themselves i don't feel they're focused on you they're very focused on themselves here it's, it's like you know what i'm done you can be as defensive as you want you can block me out that's fine i, I mean i'm just not going to be interested is what i'm getting the three of pentacles is someone you know who's just doing themselves okay but this is also someone here who's probably starting something new collaborating working on themselves their career their goals and money but end of the day this person wants to collaborate this person wants teamwork okay this person wants to be a power couple yeah and that's something that the person on this side is not being okay and give me one more card for how this person sees themselves in this connection scorpio this person could have tried really hard to be with you on the same page but i think you were not with them okay they constantly kept thinking like they were hitting a wall like you guys were just incompatible because of which this person wanted to end the cycle or has ended a cycle here and now someone out here scorpio could be you could be the cross watcher is manifesting you back okay silently one more card for how this person sees this he's himself in this connection with scorpio five of wands yeah um this person sees you as someone you know this person's being very cold very detached okay i'm getting this person out here who's been so burdened right this could be someone here who was very emotional in the connection all this while you know because of which they got hurt yeah and this person could have been very vulnerable in the connection and they kept doing and kept doing and kept doing everything that they could to keep this relationship safe or just to build this relationship but they all they realized that they were the only ones doing the work out here and now with the five of wands here this person is literally like you know like standing up for themselves you know it's like no more drama you know it's like no more drama does this person want okay they're just done with the conflict the tension and they don't want that they want to keep away from any kind of drama and chaos that you bring to their lives or them to yours tell me how do you view them how does scorpio view this person how does scorpio view this person they're dealing with Yeah, you view this person as just doing nothing about this relationship or nothing about this connection you view them as someone who has a lot of love a lot of a lot of attraction a lot of um passion for them okay but scorpio you view them as someone who's holding back and doing their best to stay away from you it's like this person's giving their 200 percent to whatever it takes to stay away from you and right now you see them that they've put things on a pause I just feel like you see that you, you view this person as someone who's just suspended, okay? And they're just hanging around there doing nothing. You could also view them as someone who's waiting for you to make a move towards them, okay? Or that's what they're actually genuinely doing. However, that's how you view them. So that's just your perspective about them. But right now you see them as just not doing anything about the situation, okay? Standing still, waiting for the right time, or just surrendering and going with the flow. Give me one more card for how Scorpio views this person. Yeah, with the feel of fortune, you know, this you view this person as someone you want something. Um, you you view this person as your your destiny. You you view this as someone which is destined, very fated. You, you view them as your world. Is what I'm getting. You want future positive shift in this relationship here, and you want growth with them. Okay, you want to move forward towards them, and you want to take action because with the sun here, you see them as your uh, end or be all. You want this growth expansion with them. You see them as your happiness. Okay, that's how you view them. How does this person view Scorpio? How does this person view Scorpio? Ten of Swords. They view you as someone who they have ended things with. They could view you as someone who's cheated, backstabbed, or they feel stabbed in the back by you. Give me one more card. They view you as the Ten of Swords. They view you as someone who they who things ended badly with, or they see you as someone where things ended between you and them. Why? Because they feel cheated, backstabbed, betrayed. Page of Cups. They view you as someone who's very immature. 
someone who has a lot of love for them but you have a very hard time opening up, up emotionally like they see you as someone who literally struggles to let love in okay struggles to get vulnerable and i don't want you to see that's what i'm saying they view you as very very immature in totality okay the knight of wands the page of wands they view you as someone very very um inconsistent is what i'd say they could also view you as someone who's got player like playboy playgirl kind of tendencies someone in and out of their life you know you just like come in as fast as you go you're very casual very flighty rushing in and out okay you just jump the gun like a fly by night kind of energy but with the page of cluster they do see you as someone who has a lot of love for them but uh, you just won't say it okay you just won't say it it's like you think twice before opening up that's what i'm getting and now i think you're bossing up scorpio if this is you or then the cross watchers bossing up whoever this resonates more with but yeah they view as someone they've had a bad ending with okay why is all this happening why is all this happening for scorpio why is all this happening five of pentacles someone feels left out in the cold here this is someone who's very codependent and very needy, very clingy. This person, whoever's feeling left out in the cold, okay, could be you, could be the cross watcher. Someone needs to do the inner work, okay, needs to grow up. Someone needs to grow the fuck up, for sure, okay. This is someone here who needs constant approval that the opposite person's there. Like, say you love me, keep saying it, you know. Like, I need you, I need your support, I'm nothing without you. Someone who feels good, they're not good enough, but... Whoever's this with the five of pentacles here, okay, is feeling left out, okay? They feel very empty without you. They feel alienated, ignored, unloved, abandoned. Could be someone who has abandonment issues also. But this person has a lot of fear of rejection. That's why this person views you as someone very timid, you know? Someone feels very uh, lonely and isolated after getting out or after there's been an ending in your relationship but this person constantly feels left out in the cold because um um of their own issues here okay of their own issues here they always need someone to lead them on and take care of them they have that lack mindset you know they feel very lonely and lost it's like a lack mentality okay but in but in the real world it's nothing like that they constantly want to feel some kind of fill some kind of void here okay one more card for why all this is happening. Queen of Cups, yeah, see. This person has a lot of love for you, Scorpio. They do. This could be you who has a lot of love for them, okay? But this person wants to come towards you because they love you like crazy, okay? They have unconditional love for you right now. Give me one more card here. But I think you have, you are holding back your love. You're not giving your love to this person here because all your focus is on yourself. You made yourself a priority in this relationship here. See how they're looking towards you like fill my cup, you know, it's like literally like fill my cup, I'm feeling so empty without you. That's why they want to come towards you. Give me one more card here while this is happening. While this is happening. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, but there's this waiting energy out here, okay? This person wants to come towards you because they see you as their wish fulfillment. You know what I'm getting? You could deal, be dealing with someone here, you know, who's very happy and okay on their own you know what i'm saying more like an energy of their you know a little smug energy like this person when they come in right they come in wanting everything from you okay they they want everything from you they um mm, how do i say this person's okay on their own okay it's like they're in a very uh they're not ready to get involved in a relationship relationship because they're happy on their own okay so when it comes to that energy here they're okay okay they're happy in their space their time their solitude but the moment they realize that there's something that they're missing right that's when they think about you that's they want that's when they want to come towards you because you could be coming off of someone as a very motherly energy to them okay very nurturing very caring you could have been having given them a lot of unconditional love okay but with the seven of pentacles you're still waiting and watching for what i don't know this person is waiting for things to come into fruition, okay? But I think they're going to want to come towards you and take a step towards you for sure. What action will Scorpio take towards this person moving forward? The Hierophant. Okay. Give me one more card. 
you definitely want to marry this person okay you see this as a very spiritual connection here you have a lot of hope and faith that things will work out between you guys you already feel like you have been you're spiritually married to this person okay you know on a 5d level here it's just not happening in the 3d level yet but you definitely feel very connected to this person okay you feel this is the one for you okay you feel this is a very meant to be connection what else what action will Scorpio take towards this person? Page of Swords, yeah, see, you're watching them for a, from a distance, yeah, but where's the fucking action here, Scorpio? A cross watcher, where's the action here? That's why there's this waiting game going on, right? You're waiting and watching of what to do next, of what steps you should take in order to pursue this person. Um, King of Pentacles, yeah, babe, you want to commit. You want to commit, but what? With the Nine of Wands here, I feel that... Um, I feel you have trust issues with this person, okay? But I feel you're still not ready to give up on this relationship. This relationship could be someone that you've tried to work out like a zillion times, okay? But I feel you're still holding on to it, okay? The Nine of Cards is someone who's exhausted, right? Tired, wounded, battered, wounded warrior kinds, but they're still not ready to give up, okay? They still keep fighting till they don't get what they want. But I like your energies here, Scorpio. This is so awesome. You're watching this person. I feel that you know this is what you want. This is the one. This is your person here. And I think you're watching from a distance and waiting for the right hand to come towards this person and giving them or offering the commitment, okay? It's just that your guards are up. See, Ace of Pentacles. You want this uh, new beginning with this person, okay? Something practical, something grounded here. What action will this person take towards Scorpio moving forward? Scorpio, remember, okay, I've said this a lot of times, I'm saying this again, okay. This could definitely be your energy, Scorpio, and this could definitely be the person you're dealing with, okay. So that's very important for me to let you know because, because before people tell me, oh, I'm not offering any commitment there, and whatever. Um, all right, what action will this person take towards Scorpio moving forward? What action will this person take towards Scorpio moving forward? Eight of Wands. Okay, let me see what this Eight of Wands is. Give me two more cards for the action that this person plans on taking moving forward towards Scorpio. <laughs> wow. Cards just. Tell me what action will this person take moving forward towards Scorpio? Two of Pentacles, and give me one more card here. Give me one more card for what action will this person take? One forward towards Scorpio. Seven of Cups, all right. So babe, I think that this person here, the moment you come in and communicate with them, right? There is gonna be a lot of communication back and forth between you guys, for sure. Okay, I do see a lot of communication, uh, things moving forward, picking up very quickly here. But when you communicate with this person, I feel that this person is going to be in two minds, okay? They're going to go very, a lot of, like, a lot of back and forth decision here, you know? A lot of going back and forth, a lot of like, should I, should I not, should I, should I not? Because this person is very confused here. Either this person thinks that you've kept them as an option here, okay? That's what that waiting energy here with the Seven of Pentacles, or... And this person is just waiting to see and invest, okay, into you. Should they put in more work? Should they put in more effort? Will it go into fruition? Will something better happen? Will this reach the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So I do see as there is going to be communication between you guys here, okay, for sure. Things are going to grow really fast. It's like, you know, there's a lot of heaty like intense heady energy between you guys okay so the passion is going to reignite between you guys for sure. Uh, but with the Two of Pentacles here, so I think that when you approach this person, right, this person's going to keep their options open, okay, Scorpio, or if you're, they're approaching you, I feel you're going to keep an open mind, seriously, I mean, that's what I'm getting here, I don't think you're going to be like, oh, wow, I mean, you know, like, the communication's coming in, there is going to be a lot of passion that's going to be reignited between you guys, yes, but again, this person's still going to be in two minds, they don't trust you, babe. they don't trust you, or you don't trust them, but it's like, because the love is there, the emotions are there, so probably things will pick up between you guys, but I just don't see them as completely giving in, and I see them as, I thought they're very confused, about I don't know what to do, because we have the two of pentacles also here, with the seven of cups that's like a lot of confusion here but i feel they're going to keep an open mind and they're just not going to be like zoning in or you or like someone who's just going to have clarity like it is only you okay whilst you're someone who's very sure about what you want now they're the ones who's not sure about whether you are the one or not okay because they've been pretty badly hurt in the past okay all right give me the best possible outcome for this spread for scorpio give me the best possible outcome 
the tower. Wow. Give me one more card for the best possible outcome. Give me one more card for the best possible outcome for Scorpio for the spread. No, no. One card. One more card, please. All right, okay. Nine of Wands and the Four of Wands also wanted to come out, okay? I feel that this person is abruptly, okay? All of a sudden, this person is going to be coming in into your life, Scorpio. Brace for impact. Be ready. They're all of a sudden going to come in towards you. And only because I saw the Four of Wands, I'm going to say this, that they're going to come in towards you. Wanting marriage, wanting commitment. I think they're going to propose you. Or they're just going to... Because we have the King of Pentacles also here, right? So this is... I can't be in two minds about this. I'm pretty sure the way they're coming in. It's just that you're not going to be expecting this. Okay? They're going to take you off guard. This is going to be taking you by surprise. And you're just going to be like, whoa. Are you kidding me? That's why you're going to be in two minds here, is what I'm getting here, okay? The tower is like something just like comes in, okay? And just like catches you off guard, right? You're not going to be expecting this. At least, I feel, you probably could be expecting communication from there, but at least you won't expect the way they're approaching you this time. Because there's this sudden shift, that sudden change in their state of mind here with the Hierophant here, okay? If this person was someone non-committal, they, they've addressed their feelings, they've addressed what they need to believe and what they don't need to, okay? This is going to be like, um, they don't give a shit to anything or anyone and there's this huge epiphany or a realization after the separation or breakup that you guys had right and they have like an awakening it's a sudden change okay and they've realized like this shocking truth that you are the one and this is what they want with you and no more running away no more hiding from this connection here okay however however Scorpio with the nine of wands here I just don't know how well you're going to take this you want this as much as you want this Scorpio with them. I feel you're very insecure. I feel this is you who's very insecure here. You know, this could also be the other way that when they come in, there's someone here who's like, I'm not giving up. I'm going to still try one more time. That's another way of looking at this. But it could also be you who's like, you know, like, whoa, like, where did this happen from? How did this happen? Like, where were you all this while? Something like that, okay? But I feel this person could be someone who's quite determined and wanting you back, okay? Quite determined. They're not going to give up, okay? They're not going to give up. They're still holding on to the rope here. Once you've given up here with the Ten of Wands here, this person's still wanting to fight for this. They have trust issues. They have insecurities. They probably feel the need to guard themselves from you, okay? It's like, what if you just shut them down? What if you just reject that offer? But this is what's coming in for you, Scorpio, okay? So yeah, it's going to be all of a sudden, you won't be expecting this, okay? This is someone who wants to start from scratch, okay? And what they want to build is with the four of wands here, they want to build something solid, stable, committed, okay? They want to be in harmony with you, and they probably want to introduce you to the family, but they want long-term with you for sure, okay?